Hello and welcome to the latest edition of The Exchange, brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Douglas Jonas, your host, and as a reminder, today's interview is for informational purposes only. The NYC does not recommend investments or investment strategies. Now, I'm joined today by a very good friend of mine, Brandon Clark. He is the head of ETFs at Federated Hermes. Brandon, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Doug. Talk to us about Federated, for those that aren't as familiar with the brand. Yeah, so we're a $650 billion global asset manager, and we focus on active management and responsible investing. So now here we are, you've, you've launched your first ETF. Uh, why ETFs, why now? Yeah, so you know when you think about ETFs, and really kind of where we've been over the last 30 years, it's really about you know, now is the time for active management and active ETFs. And from our, from our perspective, you know, we've been looking at and monitoring the ETF business for a long time. And we felt like now is a good time to get into ETFs, um, given the kind of broader adoption around active and just the, some of the things that are running around the ETF role. Um, we just felt like now was a good time to get into the market. Yeah, and you know, a lot of people at home might not realize over 60% of all launches last year were active ETFs, but that is often a surprise for people because ETFs didn't start active. What is it about the active structure and the benefits of ETFs that when you combine them together really add alpha for, for your end investor? Yeah, so there's a couple things there. So when you think about active ETFs, um, you know, for the longest time it's been indexing, right? A lot of the assets in ETFs today, of the greater than $7 trillion of assets, are largely act index ETFs. When you think about the benefits of tax management and the cost savings that come along with the ETF wrapper, it really bodes well for active management as much as it does indexing. So when you think about the assets that are pent up in the mutual fund wrapper, there's about $15 trillion worth of active mutual fund assets. When you look at that relative to the index, about half of the index assets are in ETFs, whereas on the, on the active ETF side, really there's nothing. 99% of the assets are in mutual funds. So to bring the ETF wrapper to active management means for the clients, likely better total returns because better cost savings. And from an after-tax perspective, you'd expect the ETF wrapper to deliver the same benefits that they have delivered to index uh, investors over the years. Now, of course, you're a longtime veteran of the ETF industry. When we start to look at the future of ETFs and Federated, what should we be thinking about? Yeah, so we think about ETFs just as another delivery vehicle, right? So the clients, from our perspective, clients like to access our investment strategies, you know, however they like to access them. So whether it's CITs, whether it's SMAs, historically whether it's been mutual funds, and we see more and more advisors moving to ETFs, um, we just see it as a way for us and our clients to access our investment strategies and for us to deliver them where they want to be met, which is whether it's a CIT or an ETF. So we really just see our broad lineup is going to be likely delivering our investment strategies in every wrapper. Now, of course, your first two ETFs listed here at the New York Stock Exchange just recently. Could you tell us a bit about the strategies and how they fit into the overall lineup? Yeah, so we launched uh, a fixed income uh, we launched two fixed income funds. We launched an investment grade and a high yield short duration product. If you think about um, our overall asset lineup, about 85% of our assets are either in mutual fund, uh, money market funds or fixed income assets. So we have a lot of expertise in fixed income and as well as in the short end of the curve. So these two products really fit kind of in that shorter duration um, space. And it'll allow clients to you know, target either shorter duration, which has been a call for ours over the last few months given where rates have been going, but really for any client that wants to you know, kind of use the building blocks and target specific asset classes, these products will help solve those needs for them. And of course the headlines, uh, no shortage of headlines about inflation, no shortage of headlines on changes in interest rates, the interest rate environment, where we might go this year, the Fed. How should advisors, investors be thinking about these ETFs? How do they use them? Yeah, so I would say, really there's obviously a lot of use cases, but the two primary use cases are, one, those clients who like to do the building block approach of reconstructing their fixed income portfolios, say they're trying to reconstruct the ag, so that this would be one of those building block components. But when you think about, to your point, no, no uh, shortage of news around rates and rate movements, Anybody who has a core portfolio with a, a lengthier duration right now, call it six or seven years based on the ag, um, to be able to take some of that part of their portfolio, allocate to this, shorten their duration, while not really giving up a lot of yield, so when you think about the treasury side of the market, really not much in the way of yield generation, 
investment grade and high yield still generate a decent amount of yield for their clients, keeps income coming into their fixed income portfolio, but does limit some of the exposure they have to any potential rate moves going into 2022. Where does an advisor go to learn more? Yeah, so obviously we have a, a robust sales team out in the field. So any advisor who has a sales executive that, um, that they can reach out to and call, obviously I'd reach out to there first. Our website is a great place to get information on there. There's ways to connect with us. Um, so I'd say either you know, your existing sales exec or visit our website and uh, you can be able to contact or connect with one of our folks. That's ETFs at Federated Hermes. I'm Douglas Jonas, your host. That's a wrap on today's episode. Now, as a reminder, if you caught this live and you're looking for additional ETF thought leadership, you can find it on our website, homeofetfs.com. That's homeofetfs.com, all brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange, the home of ETFs.